Hey guys, how you doing? Hester781 here. Um, this will be a short one. Uh, I do have some videos that are sort of all waiting on parts and in the making uh, with the COVID-19 going on. It's sort of hard to get things delivered. But anyway, i um, going to do a quick tool review. Uh, just received this and yep, that is the size. This is the brand new or new, I, I think it's uh, recently new to the market. Um, Baco 9029R and the only the there's two versions of this um, 9029R and 9029TT and the only difference is the jaw is uh, significantly thinner at the top of the TT. Um, if you didn't already know, uh, Baco is the same brand that the Snap-on adjustable wrenches are made, uh, made for, made from. I don't get into politics, but it's the same exact um, wrench as a, as a snap-on. Uh, beautiful little wrench, very comfortable, soft rubber grip, uh, smooth as glass. I mean, they all are anyway, but you can just feel the quality. There's no real wiggle in the head. But what's neat is, look at that. This opens up to an inch and a quarter. And for you guys across the pond, 32 is what it's rated for on the uh, package, but according to this, it goes up to 33. Maybe it just doesn't want you to, to use it um, you know, past its designated rating. I mean, you can see here, it's not even on the chart, but that's why I'm estimating at right about there being an inch and a quarter. Oh, maybe right there, it completes the whole line of the wrench. So you can go past it if you really had to. Uh, small package. I mean, they're calling it the six inch. Let's see exactly. Let's just do it like this. All right, so let's go tip to tip. A little bit longer. I mean, but you're, yeah, you're right about six inch right where the purchase ends, right where the uh, handle ends. So I'll give it to him. Uh, up until now, I really, I've had small adjustables, but never any that would go that big for such a small package. And when you're doing hydraulic lines and hydraulic fittings, which I do uh, a lot of in my line of work, sometimes it's just about getting on there to um, run them in and then maybe slipping a pipe on to give it that little extra oomph. Uh, and I have put these wrenches to the test in the past. Uh, with cheater bars, and I know you're not supposed to, but I do. Um, anyway, that's all I can say about it uh, for today, guys. Um, I do highly recommend this wrench. I haven't used it yet, but I have used Baco products my whole life, um, and I have used the bigger versions of these wrench, and I highly recommend them. Uh, if you like the video, uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe. If you have any other questions I might not have covered, on here, uh, please feel free to ask. Thanks again, guys. Bye.